So, how do you feel, bro? And you uh, go into the stadium and then you hear, yeah, the iconic Champions League theme song. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's like it's like FIFA. It's like the mm-hmm. moment you you work for, you work mm-hmm. for all your life. Since I was five, I dream from this moment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fans screaming, yeah, the Champions League sound, Europa League sound is mm-hmm. the dream coming true. Mm-hmm. Like a boy, it's a, it's a boy who dream. Yeah. Uh, how is it going, bro? It's going good, I'm with you. Mm, I'm great. Thanks for asking. This is your first time yes. play and live in Cyprus, right? Yes, yes, mm. my first year. So, what do you feel? Yeah, I think no, it's going, it's going my way. It's going good. How about the weather? Keep continuing, continuing like this. How about the weather? The food? Sorry? Yeah, the weather is very nice. The food is a little bit different, but mm-hmm. the weather the weather is nice. Yes. Okay. All right, bro. Uh, first of all, I just want to say thank you for your time to do the interview with Kumbaran. So, yeah, yeah. it is nice to see you, yeah, bro. No we are the same otherwise. Mm-hmm. Okay. I want to start... Um, the interview with talk about your uh, football journey like can you tell me more about okay. it like how did it start yes, it course. and at what age you start play football yeah i start, started in my age at five started at five playing for, for a local club in my neighborhood after i went to another amateur club when i was six six seven then I got scouted by uh, Ajax, Utrecht, Feyenoord, and PSV. So, and Asad Akmar at the time, when I was eight, I went. I went on trial at Ajax. I went Utrecht and uh, Asad, and I picked Utrecht from every club. Then Utrecht, I played from the under. 12 to the on the 13th mm-hmm. one, one two years i played there then I, then I, i did really good i scored in these two years i scored the first year i scored 72 goals second year i scored 60 goals Whoa. <laughs> so i got yes mm-hmm. i got i got no i got noticed by big clubs like Manchester city mm-hmm. Manchester city i said Alkmaar, I not an Ajax, but I, I was at Manchester City for three months. It was a long time there. Like, I could have went, but my family didn't want to move yet. I understand. I was very young also. I was 13 years old, so I could understand. After I made the decision to go to Asset, then played from Asset from the, on the 14th till on the 17th first two years i played national we had you, you didn't we played national team but you didn't have national games yet mm-hmm. so you got you had games against each other so the first two years always i was a part of that then in the on the sixth year we went we were champions from from all holland then On the, on the 17th, they told me from because we didn't have on the 18th. So we only had from the on the 17th till the on the 19th. And in the on the 19th, there are two teams. So the team that comes to the on the 19th is not going to play. So they, they told everybody, like, we're not going to play one one game. You had the choice to stay or to leave. And I chose to leave. After I had, for myself, I had to get my, my joy in football back. So I went back to my amateur club. I did good there. Then I went 
to a second league club half year later. Did also good. And then I went to Austria. And then in Austria, I started at the under 21s. I scored in uh, six months, I scored 19 goals for the under 20, in the under 21 competition. After I got, uh, they told me I can play with the first team. So I was training regularly with the first team. But I didn't really get any minutes back then. And then the next the year after, then I started playing everything in the first team. I did really good in my first real professional season. And then I got scouted by a few clubs, by big teams also. But I had Stoomgrass, Las Clins, you had Vitesse from Holland, Excelsior. And you had Slow from Bratislava and you mm. Slow from Bratislava and you had uh Excelsior Rotterdam, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. And you had Aris Limassol for me. Aris Limassol felt more like home. Mm-hmm. Like where I can grow. And they mm-hmm. come they came with the best plan for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that that's a long journey, bro. <laughs> Talking about this season, um, I saw on transfer market that you play in uh, Champions League qualifier and Europa League group stage. Yes, is it right? Yes, yes. So, that's uh, right. can you tell me more about how is it going this season? Like, what was the target for the Champions League? Of course, the target when we went in a in a Champions League qualification, the target was of course Champions League. But we have also amazing teams that are also in the race for Champions League. So unfortunate, we did we didn't make it, but we made Europa League is also a very very big very big competition. So, but the, the journey it was the first game was it was really exciting because you know I come from Austria, and then you play directly uh, Champions League, you play against good names, good teams. So, so it was for me it was it was very fun very fun to play. Is that your first time uh, play in Champions League qualifier? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes, my first time. Mm-hmm. And yeah, my first game I scored also. Uh, thank God I scored a goal my first game also. I, at the second game I gave assist. So I think I think I did good. Mm-hmm. So how do you feel, bro? When you uh, go into the stadium and then you hear, yeah. The iconic Champions League theme song. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's like it's like FIFA. It's like the mm-hmm. moment you you work for, you work mm-hmm. for all your life since I was five. I drew from this moment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fans screaming. Yeah, the Champions League sound, Europa League sound is mm-hmm. the dream coming true. Mm-hmm. Like a boy, so it's a boy who dream, and thank God I made it. Yes. Yeah, even if it's only a qualifier match, but it's still Champions League, right? <laughs> yes, it is, yes, yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. But it's, it's very nice to play. Mm-hmm. Very nice. How about the uh, in domestic target, domestic league? What is the target for the domestic league? For the for the league here in Cyprus? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. To to win to win everything in Cyprus is the target. Mm-hmm. To, to be first in the league, win the win the cup, so and we have a, we have a good team, so we have a big chance. Mm-hmm. Bro, I want to talk about uh, Indonesia. Okay. <laughs> yes. Can you tell me from yeah, whom? Fun, fun, of course. Can you tell me from whom? From my you, great grandfather. From my Indonesian roots. From, who? from my great grandfathers, from my from my mother's side, my great grandfather is from Indonesia, in Indonesia, Suriname. Mm-hmm. My grandmother also is part Indonesian. So most of my grandmother's side are Indonesian. Uh, in which city they came from? In Indonesia? It was uh, they found something like Medan, I think, oh, something Medan. like this. 
Medan Medan yes. Medan Medan yeah. Okay have you, have you ever come to Indonesia? Not unfortunately not yet Not yet mm-hmm. not, I, I really that's nice from friends Because I've I have one friend to play also for Indonesia and he told me it's very nice. Mm-hmm. Then you have to go to Bali, bro. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But it, it is the only thing it is really it is really far. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's really far. If you want to if you want to travel from Holland, it's like 17 hours. Yeah, yeah. That's the yeah. only thing that's keeping me that's keeping me back. Have you ever contact? Yes. Uh, get contact by the federation PSSI? No, not yet. I think if it, if it happens, if it is possible, I would love. To, I would love to play for the nation. So they never contact you yet. No. Mm-hmm. So if if there is a chance uh, to play in the national team, do you want to play for Indonesia? Of course, so it would be an honor to play for for the national team. Mm-hmm. So wh- why do you want to be an Indonesian and play for the national team? To uh, to help the country, help the country achieve big things. Bro, uh, people said that uh, you are not eligible to do naturalization because, uh, yeah, your Indonesian family. Uh, It's not at least from your grandparents. So, do you know about that? Yes. Yes, I, I heard something about this too, but I hope I hope it's possible. Mm-hmm. I hope. But... Mm-hmm. Uh, bro, is there anything mm-hmm. you wanna say to PSSI? If they, if they can make it happen, then make it happen. Just uh, yes, like this. No, yes, I'm open. I'm open to play for. I'm open to play for Indonesia. If it, if it, if I can play, then I hope. I hope it can. I hope they can make it happen. Uh, for the last, uh, do you want to send any message to all Indonesian supporters? <laughs> 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 yes, yes. <laughs> this, this, this is a hard one. A message. Yes, thanks. Thank you for all the love that I got recently on my on my Instagram. I see, I see everything. And uh, I hope to see you sooner to support us in Indonesia. Okay. Okay. Yes, that's it. Mm-hmm. That's all uh, the question that I want to ask to you, bro. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, bro. Thank you. Thank, thank you for thank your you time. Too. Take See care. You. See you, bro. Thank you. Yeah. See you, brother. Take care.